There's this fabric in Ghana called kinti, made up of multiple colors of threads. We are trying to understand the relationship between scientific and religious thought and whether cognitive style has anything to do with this relationship. So you have scientific knowledge coming to the kids from the formal education system. You have religious influences coming from the home. You have all these different threads of knowledge coming together. How do the various threads of learning from both home and formal school environments intertwine in a child's mind? Professor Vivian Jokato and her colleagues are examining how religious and scientific knowledge are formed, shaped, and interwoven over the course of a child's developmental years. The project is known as the Culture of Schooling Project, a multi-country project in which social scientists, primarily psychologists and anthropologists, are working to identify what the relationship between these variables are. We are comparing children from 15 different countries, 19 sites involved in this study. Ghana is very religious. One could go to buy something from Jesus is Alive store, then take public transportation in a van which has a logo which says something like, I know that my Redeemer lives. 95% of the population has a religious affiliation. This provides an interesting contrast to other countries in the broader study, which differ in terms of the predominance of religion. Three key points in our study will be one we're looking at, at what developmental stage do children acquire scientific and religious thoughts? Second is how are these transmitted from parents to children and from school to children? And then third key point is how do we relate cognition, children's thinking, to the development of scientific and religious thoughts? We administered questionnaires uh, measuring basic constructs. We had scientific thoughts, religious thoughts, and cognitive measures to both parent and child. People approach the world with different meaning systems. Some make sense of the world in purely scientific terms. Some make sense of the world in purely religious terms. And some people are in between. It is important to go beyond scores and explore psychological questions. What is formal education doing to the ways that we think, the ways that we engage in the world? the ways that we make meaning of things. Is formal education helping us to make the world a better place? Is formal education shaping cognitive patterns in one direction versus another? What makes our research unique is the inclusion of cognition. We can tell by your cognitive style which brain parts are active. Prior research has shown that there are some types of thought processes that are associated with religious thoughts. So we measure different types of cognition and then relate their cognitive styles to religious thoughts and scientific thought and see whether there is any causal relation. Kids learn from multiple settings. These threads of knowledge interconnect and intertwine and form a beautiful pattern of knowledge. They're going to use as much of this information as possible to engage in the world and help the world solve its problems. Mm -hmm.